What up world? What are y'all doing today? It is a beautiful day, especially out here in Texas. So today, as you've seen in the thumbnail, we are getting a new front grill for the joke. So when I went to go buy the Joker, and I'm gonna keep seeing the Joker, well, the 2019 Dodge RT, I was looking at a 2017 Scat Pack 392, right? Well, I love the, the way the grill looked in the Scat Pack, and then I also like the way the Hellcats have the air box that goes in through the front instead of trying to go through the air box under the bottom. So what I did was I did my research on YouTube and then I found out that Steve White, Steve White Motors, I think not Steve White Motors or Steve White Parts or something like that. I'll put the link in the description. I ordered it from there. So we ordered a Hellcat air box with the, the duck and then the Hellcat um, slash, I guess, Scat Pack RT grill, the one that has the opening inserts on the front and then the bigger grillets in the front and the bottom. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna install that today. But before I say all of that, we need to talk about what happened in the last video. Man! those tire stickers on because if you watch the video before this they were a monster I asked my wife when I get some new tires are you gonna help me she said heck no but I know that's a lie so we'll just see who's right anyways but yeah so the, I, I feel like that the tire stickers really brought out the car um, some people don't like tire stickers some people do some people say, think it's extra but at the end of the day, it's all in what you want on your car and um, your personality. But after we put the tire stickers on, you know, I was watching some videos on the exhaust. Well, my car was already loud when I got the car. So I took it to a muffler shop to see what was going on underneath. And I'm going to put a picture up right now of what I've seen up underneath my car. So when I got under there, I was like, wow, they already did a delete or some type of modifications to the exhaust anyways because when i bought the car i thought it came stock like that i thought the rt sound like that well as you can see man that looked like a botched up job i want y'all to come in below and let me know if i should get that redone or if it should be redone i did take it back to the dealership they said it wasn't leaking or anything and it was fine and it should last about a year or so but i just bought the car and i don't want it to be a year or so you know so uh, i don't know well I want y'all to comment below and let me know what y'all think about that uh, exhaust job and if I need to get it done or get it done over, then just let me know. In all my videos, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm actually using. So whether it be a picture or I take it with the video of my lighting, of my audio setup and all of that. So today what we're using, we're using the Sony a7 III, which you are watching right now with the Zeiss Baddest 25 millimeter F2. I have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on here and I have a pocket light F7 uh, LED light uh, to my left, to your right. And that is what's lighting my face right here. And then outside, I'll show you my setup for when we get ready to take you through the process of putting this whole grill and stuff on. But we're not going to do it like in depth because it's tons of videos out there for you to go watch how to pull the bumper off. But I will give you little snippets of what you need to do uh, as far as taking the bumper off and to put this new grill uh, into the car. 
All right, so we got the car jacked up. I have the wheel going to the right for now. We have these push pins that we need to get up. We have our trim removal set down here. I showed you that in the house. Uh, we have, we're also gonna be putting in some LED lights while we got the whole front bumper off because it'll just make sense instead of trying to put my finger down here and uh, start uh, turning the thing to get the light out. And on the other side, we gotta remove the air box anyway because we're putting the Hellcat air box in here. So it just really doesn't make any sense not to do it at the same time. So we're gonna get started. Like I just showed you in this video, here are the clips that you have to take out on the top and then I'll show you the ones on the side and then we'll go from there. All right, so we have gotten all the clips off. I had to take off the wheels. I, like I said, I don't have two jacks, so I had to jack one side up because my jack stands are too high for this and you had the back wheels all raised up. But anyway, I got all the clips off the, off the top and then I got the screws under the bottom and then I went in there and got the two screws off the side. And hopefully if I did everything right, I should be able to pull the bumper off and uh, yeah, get started. Plug. I forgot I gotta unplug the uh lights from these here. Ah. All right. So we have the front bumper off. Uh next before we started starting the grill, we're gonna go ahead and do the lights first, and then uh we're gonna go from there. All right, so I bought these LEDs uh, off of Amazon. They're called Trueland. And the thing about these and these cars, since the car is low voltage, you gotta make sure that you have a, a CAN bus on here so you don't get that flicker. So hopefully these lights that we put in, um, they don't flicker because you got the CAN bus uh, thing right here. These are the halogens that they put in there. I don't understand why Dodge would just put these in here when they could just put LEDs in there. They put LEDs in the fog light, so it doesn't really make any sense to me. So you have to make sure that you have these on the right because it is a positive and a negative. Um, and after you plug it in, just open your door of your car. If it doesn't come on, just swap these and it should come on. So this is the CAN bus here. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of roll everything off into the little thing here. And we're gonna twist it until it's in. And these do have a fan on them. So after that is done, we'll get the dust cover. This way you don't have to do, uh, I didn't do HIDs because HIDs you would have to cut a hole in here and put the ballast somewhere else. So we did LEDs. So hopefully tonight these LEDs are pretty sharp. I just took the whole light out because it just makes it a lot easier since we got the front bumper off and it was four screws, two on the top and then uh, one on the side and one on the bottom. So we're gonna put the dust cover back on. You wanna make sure it's on right. And so it don't get any dust in there. So I think what we're gonna do is me and my wife are probably gonna clean this off uh, right now and then put it, just put it back in. And I've already tested the light and it does work. So there you go. All right, so we got the air box out. It was a screw. I just took this, it was a screw here, here, here. And then I just took a flathead and loosened this up with a pry tool and got that off, tool lifted off the top. And then it was a screw right here. That was just the only one holding the air box. The only one holding the air box in. And then I just pulled the air box out. Here is the factory air box right here. And here is the 
Hail Kit air box that I got from Steve White. Um, you could tell the difference. I didn't think I needed it at first, but obviously I really do because this one doesn't even have anything inside of it. So that is a difference and you definitely need it. And it's definitely gonna go in here. And then the tube comes out to here. And then we got the new grill that's gonna be in the front that's gonna allow air to come through. Now you also have these air ducts here that allow for your brakes to get cooled off. So having that new grill that's really open is going to allow us to uh, breathe a little bit better. Boy, man, that was an install. So not having two jacks kind of made it a, a little more difficult, but we kind of worked around it. I jacked one side up, took the wheel off, um, and went in there. But if you can get your hand inside of there and get it out, that would work out great. Now it is a, this piece right here is like an angle driver made by Milwaukee and it helped out great. So you use a 10 millimeter inside where those two bolts is gonna be right here at the top. And what I did was I just put the angle driver in there and I used my, 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 my drill and I was able to get it out. But without this thing, it would have been very difficult. I would have had to use a, like a hand wrench and that would have took forever. So make sure you pick up one of these angle drivers. They work out great. And if you take off the wheels, it just makes it a lot easier and because it's like three more uh, push pins in there. You just pull them out and then have somebody to hold the thing and you'll get in there pretty easy. So I'm going to show you some B-roll right now of the Joker with the front end. I believe it looks, it looks amazing and it looks meaner. So all I got to do now is get another badge to go on the front. And I want to say thank you so much for... Um, Watching this vlog, I'm sorry that I didn't put in, you know, how to take off the grill. It's really not that hard. It's YouTube videos that, like I said before, that you could go in and you can go watch. Authentic Benny's page, he has one where he goes through the whole process of how to take the grill out. But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all a little snippets of what we were doing, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't never miss another video from me.